So Goodman, I'll go to you first on this one. Kevin Keats, um, what what does he have to do to keep that job? And can you see him finding a way to turn this thing around? I mean, you can't be shitty again like you were last year, right? They're four and sixteen in, in, in the NFC. <laughs> you have anything like that again, you are you're gone. And and he's actually got. Like his buyout, I think, is somewhere around six, six and a half million. Not small, but but doable. In, in this day and age, like if it's less than 10, you're you're worried. I mean, look at Indiana, right? They wrote a check. A dude wrote a check for Archie Miller's buyout. Easy. Now, NC State may not have the same money that Indiana money. has behind it. They got, they got money. enough. They could do it. They, they can write out somebody can write a check for six million if they go four and sixteen in the ACC again. Um, I, I think they'll be better. I think they got to be an NIT team, probably. That would be my guess. Is, is it fair to say that will. they've been snake bit? Is, is it fair to say that they've been snake bit? Because he lost the the yeah. kid, Josh Hall. Yes. Bro, they lost, he lost the uh, – who was the, the other athletic kid? Yeah. They, but they are like – they, 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 they lost two guys that were committed – that were um that they were remind graduated. me of my, they remind me of Miami when all the FBI and all the stuff came out there were programs that got that got hit and they, they kind of ran and you know for cover yep and where some of the other programs just kind of pushed through it they kind of pushed back and ran for cover and it hurt them and now coach L starting to get things back but he they were rolling i mean Miami was rolling until the, those accusations yep. came along and so was so was state so I just think that that hurt those guys. You think NIT, RC? I think they'll be good enough to get in the NIT. Here, here's here's, here's yeah. the issue with NC State. Okay, Carolina has gone from – they were – you know, Carolina was just okay for a couple of years, and then all of a sudden now they're back, right? Carolina's back. Duke yeah. feels like Duke. Shire Duke. might actually have them at a higher Duke. level, right? It's Duke. But then Virginia Tech hires a big-time coach. Wake Forest, Forbes gets that thing going. Virginia's been a beast. Yeah. Like that is, it becomes a really, really hard job because you have the expectations of, Hey, we won and competed for national championships here, but the, and the league is gigantic, but some of the programs that were kind of also Rams well, they have are a little now, brother complex. That's well, they've, always had the little, they've always had the little brother complex, but there's other little brothers that are, that have that supplanted have them. But they don't yeah. have, but, but again, they have the money that the yeah. other little brothers don't have. No, they did NIL before NIL. They, Come they on, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they got the money. They got the money. There's the quote. There's the quote in this show from Gottlieb right there. There it is. I as, was coach, as the late great Eddie Sutton used to say, they got a different interpretation of Grant and Aid in that conference. <laughs> so here's my take. If Keats doesn't make it, is Archie Miller the guy they go after, RC? Yes. Right. In hindsight, yes. I mean, they tried well, last think... time. They tried last time with them. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if he's going to win enough at Rhode Island this year. They get their team. That's that's not. the thing about it. It's the same right. thing. I mean, he, he would have to win. I mean, then the it team's becomes bad this year. It's not good. another guy. Like who would be the guy if he? If, you know, that's the problem. But if he was out, I think he probably would have been. But you know, if 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 we're playing hypotheticals, I, I think they're going to win enough. I don't think it's going to open up this year. Yeah, I kind of, I, I, I kind of, I, I, like, I like. I hope group. you're right. I, I hope you're guy. right because Keats yeah. again walked into a difficult situation. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Finally, behind all the NCAA shit, because I think Keats can recruit. Like I've known Kevin since he was at Hargrave. He's going. He's going to get guys. And yes. again, he has a. He got a bucket. He got another. He got a good backcourt. He, he got, got the kid. Mm-hmm. Jaquel Join is going to be able to play as well. Yeah, Smith they like the score. Clark kid. You yeah. know they got three guys. They get the rotate the, at center. He's going to be able to play the way he's accustomed to playing. I, yeah, they they, they would. They would be significantly better than they were a year ago. Like that they would have been significantly better a year ago if Manny Bates didn't blow. Was it a shoulder injury that he yeah. had? I'm the, the yeah. first minute. That, that's of the that though. That one of those things. That, that's one of the problems with that program or programs of that level and the style he wants to play a lot of guys right is that when you lose a guy there it's sometimes it hurts you more because you don't have the depth it hurts anybody in college basketball nobody has great depth anymore because nobody wants to come off the bench but especially at an nc state can i ask you a question jeff yeah you and i have and i'm I'm sure the other guys do as well we both have a great affinity for anthony grant in terms of the type of person he is right love him god i love him now i i know bama wasn't the right job for him right but is there another one out there? Because they're going to be really good, and he's an unbelievable dude. 
No. That ha- that's generated a ton it's of It's his alma mater. So he's not leaving un- unless it's like, you know, you know where Anthony Grant, like, I don't, honestly, I don't know if he worked, but he probably could. He'd have to pull back a little bit. NBA. You know, he's with Billy for a couple of years in Oklahoma City. He would absolutely work in the NBA. He'd have to pull back a that, little bit. He he's that, a little he too. Um, he, runs, he runs a pro style too. Like they yeah. play pro basketball. The, what they some run. of that, but it's also like the NBA is all about the respect that those guys have for you, the way you carry yourself. You're right. You're right. Yep. And that dude, he has like a, he has a. There's just he's a the way best. about him, like. Fuck, he's, he's the best. Him. That dude is the like. Great dude. Like, he's so good. He's so all about accountability, and and not being about himself it, it's amazing to me that's it's why he would work in the nba he would you're right you're, you're right all guys don't work in the nfl in the nba you know what i was thinking the more of, the coach. i was thinking more of like the little rules and things of that nature that you're gonna have to back off on but he's already been there and watched billy do it in oklahoma city so he'd be fine with it 